Will the tariffs be lifted? Will the taxes be raised? Will Amazon FBA even be a viable concept after this whole thing is said and done? These questions and much more will be discussed in this video, so be sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. Welcome to this channel. If this is your first time, consider subscribing as I drop brand new content about Amazon FBA every single week. Also, if you're returning, thank you for jumping in here again. Uh, be sure to type in the comment section what you guys like to see from this channel as your comments really shape the content of this channel in the future. Now, I have lived in the United States for about 14 years, and last time I voted in 2016 because I had just gotten my citizenship a couple of years past, so this is my second time voting, but I personally don't remember the, the elections being this crazy, to be honest with you, and maybe I just wasn't too involved and wasn't paying close attention, but to me it just sounds a lot more bizarre this time around, and it seems like there are a lot more things at stake this time around than there ever has been. And maybe this is just my personal opinion. But the one thing that I always tell everyone is that regardless of who you vote for or who you root for, really your decisions, your day-to-day -day decisions should not be impacted by who wins or who does not win. Just because at the end of the day, you cannot exactly control who wins and who becomes president for the next four years. And I mean, you are going to vote and, and that does count, but you just can't simply control it. You know, it was never our decision when we migrated into the country 14 years ago. We didn't care who the president was or who we will be voting for or who we will be helping to become president. We just simply were seeking opportunity, stability and security. So in this video, what I want to go into really is kind of the three top things that will really be impacted or might be impacted so that you know kind of how to proceed from here about your Amazon FBA business. So let's go ahead and get into them. Now before I forget, our weekly winner for our step-by-step -step guide on how to launch on Amazon is Faison Ahmed. Um, if you would like to enter to win, be sure to drop in the comment section BJKU. Now one of the most important things that you guys have to think about and that you have to know about is that when Trump became president, one of the most things that he actually imposed that kind of impacted our business as Amazon sellers is the tariffs on, you know, products imported from China. So for you as an Amazon seller, if Trump does not become president, you know, those tariffs might be lifted actually, and it might go back down to where it used to be. Now, what's that impact really like that massive on our products and our selling price? It just kind of depended on exactly what products you sold or what categories you sold within. Some categories did not get impacted at all. Some categories just got impacted a little bit and some categories got impacted by a lot. But really you gotta understand one thing is that whether or not the tariffs stay, they increase or they decrease, you as a seller, if you are selling in a niche that was impacted by the tariffs, understand that not only you are going to be impacted, but all of the market is gonna be impacted so simply what you do is you raise your price little by little. You don't go from, let's say, a $20 product to a $30 product. You raise your price by $0.50, cents, dollar, whatever it is that the cost is costing you more now, and you just simply pass it along to the customer. And just do understand, everyone else in the market is simply doing the same. So you're not the only one that's actually increasing your prices. Now, the second thing is that if Biden becomes president, our taxes could increase. How much we pay tax could increase. Now, whether if you are an Amazon seller or not, that's going to impact you. That's going to impact almost every entrepreneur, every business owner, every, almost everyone, right? Uh, unless if you are a, a in the nine to five, you're collecting a paycheck, then that might not impact you as much. But if you are an entrepreneur, if you're 1099, you're an Amazon seller, that's going to impact you. However, if you also own a restaurant, it's going to impact you. If you own a, a billion dollar company, if you are Amazon.com, that's going to impact you. So. Again, you're not going to be in the race by yourself, but you have to start thinking of how exactly is this going to impact my business and how do I make improvements and how do I make changes so that way it doesn't exactly change my business by much and I can mitigate the risk really and then turn it into a positive into your business. Again, if that actually impacts your business, you're not going to be the only one in your niche or in your business that's going to get impacted. Everyone else is going to get impacted. At the end of the day, you are going to have to increase your prices at some point. I know it kind of sounds bad at some point because you're like, but I'm all I'm doing is I'm increasing my price in either way. And that means the customer is going to have to pay more. Yeah, that's true. But 
Minimum wage is probably gonna increase. That means your customer's probably gonna be getting paid more. You know, if your customer, let's say, is a landlord, not a renter, they're gonna probably be charging more for rent. If maybe they own a grocery store, that's probably gonna increase. So really everything increases. And simply every year, cost of living increases anyway. So it's not going to be the end of the world, you know? Now the third and most important thing you have to know as a entrepreneur, as someone starting a business, whether if it's on Amazon or somewhere else, is that the opportunity is online. Everyone is literally migrating from retail to online. And what I mean by that is, I remember, you know, 10, 14 years ago when I first migrated into the country, we used to pass by Best Buy and there used to be lines and lines out the door for Black Friday. Those lines have shrunk over time. When you go to retail stores, those lines have shrunk. You know, especially when companies like Toys R Us just gone, you know, uh, companies like Sears just gone, you know, vanished, right? And I personally believe that in the next 10 to 15, maybe 20 years, shopping malls are gonna be gone and you're gonna see more like boutique style little stores here and there. It's kind of like a Tesla store. Like Tesla does not have a dealer, right? It's a, a showroom. They have two, three cars. You go there, you can test drive them, but that's really it. Everything else is, happens online over the phone and especially with e-commerce, with commerce all together with, you know, physical products like things that you buy for your household, this camera, this, this phone, this laptop, this thing, this, that thing, you know, all those things you could shop for them online. You can probably start shopping for houses online. You can, you know, I remember when we picked this apartment, it was online. We found it on apartments.com. Now we're trying to move to Florida. I'm going to be putting in a deposit for an apartment in Florida without even looking at the apartment. It's going to be a virtual tour. I'm going to put in a deposit online and then we're going to move, right? And the most important thing that you need to know is that Amazon brings in over 53% of all online sales. So all the hundreds, thousands, millions of websites online, Amazon does over 53% of all that shopping. So for you being part of this, you know, this massive platform is a very important and crucial decision for your business, whether if you already have a brand off of Amazon and you simply want to scale it on Amazon, or if you maybe are just starting to private label some products just so that you can start an online business and you want to start on Amazon, great way. Not saying you should get stuck there. You can always branch out and then go to different places, but starting on Amazon is a very, very, very crucial decision that you can make in 2020 and 2021. With that said, guys, Bashar get to here. I really hope that the last you know few minutes that we've been together have shed some light on your request and answer some of your questions. Now, if you have more questions, be sure to drop in the comment section. As I mentioned, your questions, your comments shape the content of this uh, channel. Aside from that, if you are like Bashar, I love this you know Amazon FBA thing. I want you to really walk me through exactly what you do, how you do it. What I've done is I've opened a few spots on our team's calendar where we will jump on a phone with you, we will answer more of your questions, and we will lay out a roadmap for you and then see if working together is a good fit. If it is, we'll offer you a spot on our team. If it's not, we'll simply give you exactly where to go from there and then we will suggest a great alternative. So all you need to do is go ahead and click on the first link in the comment section or in the description below and apply it, let's chat. Aside from that, I do appreciate you guys being on this video. Go ahead and consider giving this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. So check out these couple of videos that I've got here for you. I'll see you next week. Have yourselves a great day. Take care.